So the question of geometry, how we add it, where we add it, all of that, is really central to ZBrush. And it has a couple, it has one really important component. So I'm going to say we're really talking about geo or geometry. And then a subtopic to that is topology. And what topology means is, are there any organized lines that help us separate the form from one thing to another? And you can really see that quite clearly. If I turn polyframe on, you can see it here. Now, it's a very clear division from the uh, lip to the part above the lip. And that follows all the way until we get right here to this juncture. But then things start to break down. Boom, 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 boom. And it gets very pixelated. This breakup becomes difficult in sculpting. And so what we do, traditionally, is we just divide it more. So there's more little tiny pixels that make a big difference. But if you organize the topology along clear lines, along the form itself, which we know is going to go about like this, then you're able to do more with less. So organizing topology allows us to do more with less pixels or less polygons. But it has its own issues. Because once you draw these lines in there, into the actual topology, then it becomes really hard to change them or work around them. So what ZBrush has adopted is a loose automatic way of dealing with topology. And that's best seen in its DynaMesh feature. So we're in the tool palette. We come all the way down to this DynaMesh. And this allows us to automatically generate a new set of topology. And it'll make a bit of a difference in the ear and in this corner of the mouth and definitely in the bottom of the nose. You can see where things are getting stretched. And that's going to be quite painful. So we do want to address this. Let's just click the button and see what happens. It asks me if I want to freeze the subdivision levels. What we're really doing at this stage is we're recasting. If you're a sculptor, you're going from clay to another version of clay or to wax. It's going to redo everything, so that removes all of those subdivision levels. And that's fine. We're totally fine with that because we're recasting this in a new medium with new topology. So I'm going to say, do not freeze. And I know that's a little confusing, but we do not want to freeze it because this would literally hold them in space and we just want to we want to remove them so I'm gonna say no don't freeze them let's just recast this and move on and now if you look you'll see organized topology that's gonna make this a little easier now in this corner it organizes a little bit it's not completely organized you get these patches, which is a little bit better than what we had before. Before, we had basically one giant patch that would stretch and do weird things whenever we kind of pushed the form too much. But now what we're getting is, here's a patch, here's a patch, here's a patch, there's a patch, here's a patch, there's another patch, and these guys all connect and help us organize the form. It's quite a huge advancement. This is a major, major advancement in digital sculpting. And Pixelogic is the one leading the way here, which is just amazing. But what the most important thing they did is they did not focus on organized topology. They asked themselves, what's the problem here? Well, the problem is not that we need organized topology. The problem is, is that we need better topology, something done quickly so we can recast it and get moving. Let's cast it in wax in like 30 seconds and then I can use the wax tools to get better form, better shape. And then let's cast this in plaster in 30 seconds and I'll use the plaster tools to get better form and better shape. And that's, that's what we have. We have this easy recasting solution. But we need to adjust this. 
default settings are quite high in poly count. So I'm going to come in and set this to 32. And you can see that's much easier. It did get rid of the mouth though, so that's that's not enough. Let's try 64. Turn on DynaMesh. Do not freeze. And now we're starting to get a little bit better patching there. This is going to ultimately be what works for me. But I do not like the fact that I lost all of that form. Now, you might, this might be actually totally acceptable. I'm going to snapshot that and move it off to the side. But for me, I want to show you how you can get a little bit better retention. Uh, let's go into Layer, Clear to remove that piece. I'm going to set this to 64, but I'm going to turn Project on. And then I'm going to turn Dynamesh on and say, no, don't freeze, and voila. My form is still there. And I've got less polygons. So now I turn Dynamesh off, and I can always divide this and start sculpting the interior form. So make sure you go through that step, re-dynamesh your model, get it so that you've got some level of patching that works for you, and then we're going to get in, divide it one time, and start seeing what we can do with one extra level of subdivision level, subdivision geometry.